Hey there! Let's talk about rewriting expressions. And of course, this is algebra, so we're going to be talking about distribution, simplifying, and the properties of exponents. So let's get started. Our first problem is 2 parentheses 4x plus y closing parentheses. Now, distribution is a, the property that allows a number to be able to be distributed to all numbers inside of parentheses. So we could use the distribution property to be able to multiply 2 by 4x and by y. So if we wanted to rewrite this expression, we would write it as 2 times 4x plus 2 times y. And then we can simplify it by saying 8x plus 2y. And that would be one way we could rewrite an expression. So simplifying is pretty much the reverse of distribution. So instead of trying to distribute the number, we're trying to make it into the form of its simplification. So we have to figure out what all of these have in common first. So out of 3x, 6y, and 12, what do they share? Well, they don't share a common variable because this has x, this has y, and this doesn't even have a variable. But they do all share a number, 3, 6, and 12. And if we think back to our grade school days, 3, 6, and 12 are all multiples of 3. So if we express this as multiples of 3, this would be 1, our first multiple of 3. And 3 times what equals 6? That'd be 2. And 3 times what equals 12, which would be 4. So that would be in the expressed terms of the multipliers of 3. So now we can rewrite this by taking 3 and putting it on the outside. So we could move this and put it on the outside to say that, well, they all share this in common. So we can pretty much multiply 3 by all the things inside the parentheses, which is what this is doing. So 3x, so 3 times x, plus 6y divided by 3, since you're taking that out, and right here, 2y plus 3 times 4 is 12, so 4. If you're not sure, you can always check back your work by doing distribution and getting it all out. And if we check our work, we get 3x plus 3 times 2y, which is 6y, plus 3 times 4, which is 12. So that is correct. And now our final thing for rewriting expressions is properties of exponents. There's a lot more we got to cover, but this is the problem we're going to solve, and now we got to actually do it. So here are all the basic properties, and I have the integers that we're going to use in for these variables. a equals 2, b equals 3, m equals 4, and n equals 5. So let's try them out. Just do them one by one. So the first one is a to the m power, a times a to the n power equals a to the m plus n power. So what this is doing is kind of like the distribution property. It's combining the integers together and just adding the exponents. That's a key thing to remember. If the base integers are the same values, then you can just combine them and add the exponents together. So let's try them here. So for the first one, a two to the fourth power times two to the fifth power is equal to 2, 4 plus 5, which is 9. For the next one, a to the n power, paran, paran, to the n power. So it's basically a to the m to the n power is m times n. So if we do that, 2 to the fourth power to the fifth power is 2 to the 4 times 5th power, which is 20. 
Now for number three. A to the negative m power is the reciprocal, 1 over a to the m power. What this is doing is taking the exponent and making it into a fraction in order to make it positive. Because polynomials or any kind of monomial cannot be negative. So 2 to the negative fourth power is 1 to the 2 to the fourth power. Now number 4, a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the nth power minus a to the nth power. And this is just like number 3, because all you're doing is reversing this and making it negative so you can subtract. So 2 to the 4th power divided by 2 to the 5th power is 2 to the negative 1th power. You could also write this as 1 over 2 to the 1 power, which is just 2. So number 5 would be a times at b to the nth power is a times m, a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So if we write that, 2 times 3 to the 4th power would be 2 to the 4th power times 3 to the 4th power. You could also write this as 6 to the 4th power. And for the last one, 8 to the 0th power is 1. That's kind of like a trick question because your first instinct would be, oh, it's 0, but it's actually 1. There's a long process to actually prove why is that like that but we can get that at another video. So 2 to the 0th power equals 1. Now after all this, we can finally go back to our original problem. 2 to the x to the negative 1 power divided by paren 3x squared, closing paren to the 3rd power. First thing you want to do is unravel this parentheses, so we can do that. 2 x to the negative 1 power over, so if we have, don't forget to distribute the exponent to each number or integer or variable, so it'd be 3 to the 3rd power times x to the 2 times 3, just like property 2, 2 times 3, which is 6. So, now that we have this, we can move the negative x to the bottom by using this property and we would have 2 3 to the third power x 6 and x to the first power now we can simplify 2 over 27 3 times 3 times 3 and x to the seventh power and that is our final answer Thank you for watching this video, and this has been SATFreePractice.com, providing you with rewriting expressions.